if you have air leaking out of your fill port, there's a good chance that you might have some dirt in the fill port valve. To get to the fill port valve, you need to remove the regulator body from your action, which is covered in another video. Once you have, this is what you'll be left with. The first thing you need to do is remove this brass adapter, which normally holds the buddy bottle to the to the regulator. It's normally finger tight. Sometimes it's tightened, and you might need to use a suitable spanner to remove it. The next step is to remove this screw, and it's very important that you remove this screw before moving on to the next step. Otherwise, you could potentially cause damage to your regulator. So remove that screw. Now we need to remove this brass body which houses the valve for the full port. Select a suitable spanner and undo that. Now be careful of this because there is a, um, a little ball bearing in, in this which can fall out and disappear. There we go. Now you may find that this has some dirt on it. Um, and you can give it a good clean and I would recommend giving the o-ring a, a drop of suitable lubrication when you're putting it back together. Inside this there is a hole and a o-ring. Now, Ideally you want to remove this o-ring and make sure it's nice and clean and make sure there's no no dirt or little bits of grit or anything that may have been put in when it was being filled up. And the same applies to the inside of the fill valve. Make sure that that's nice and clean. If you've got compressed air or a keyboard duster, it would be a good idea to give that a little blast just to get any debris out. Make sure it's nice and clean. Replace the o-ring Again it would be a good idea to put a drop of suitable o-ring lubricant on the o-ring Then make sure the little ball is nice and clean has no dirt on it and then drop that into the centre of the o-ring and then this has obviously been cleaned and pre-lubricated, so you pop that back in and tighten it up, making sure that the oh, the little ball bearing stays in place. And tighten that up. Replace the screw. Make sure that's nice and clean and replace that. You'll notice there's a, um, a cutout in this black spacer. That cutout needs to go around the brass head. So once you get down in a bit, it will become clear where it needs to locate. Um, I normally spin it around until it's in the right position, then hold it with my other hand and then tighten this up and it should go over the, the brass nut nicely Then tighten that up it doesn't need to be very tight it just needs to be tight enough so that the the corner of the hex on that is central to the circular bit there and that that's important because if it doesn't the toe track won't fit on because the toe track has a cut out that is that shape and then Fit the regulator back to the action and check for leaks.